Sick to my stomach by the vending machines. They talk to me. I miss it back home where I could really be free. Not free to be something. I could let go if that's what you wanted. But I know you really want to talk. Hi, hi, Al. Hi, James. Things of things. I have to see hope, see the crime, see the street. I'm very hyped for street today, chatters. If you're hyped too, we've got some baggers, we've got Tiny Life, we've got Curry, uh, Coffee Caravan, and we also have some NSMP. Just all the good things. Not the title or not. Just I'm very hyped because I actually found the people who make Copy Caravan on Twitter this time. Like last time I kind of looked uh, without finding them, but this time I did. Hello, hi Wes, hi King. Good to have you here. Oh, there we go. Thanks for that. I added something very cool to the stream as well, Chatters. Like you won't know, like you won't be the people to experience it because you're already here, you're already followed. But. Inspired by uh, my friend Toby, I added a little Fossilbot command that has a little greeting now for people when they follow, which I thought was so cute in his chat, so I asked him how he did it, and boom! We now have like a little like, thank you for following message with a cute, cute little emote. Uh, so yay! Oh crap, I did this, the thing I've always, I already did beforehand, I'm so dumb. Ah! You know that thing, when I painfully type out like a command beforehand, and then I'm like, how about not? And then I, I do the mistake that I've done many times before, which is um, low-key ridiculous uh, to not include my Twitch link in my uh, my tweet, rip. Uh, bro just kind of forgot all about. <laughs> uh, fellas, fellas, fellas. I hope you're well today. I'm fixing my, my tweet mistake. Rather quickly. We, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm just, I just have to find the, the, the tagging stuff again. There you go. And I'm going to do a little silly tag. Just for the lols. Pause. There you go. I've done it. Cat kiss. Thank you, James. I appreciate it. This time, at least I noticed it beforehand. Like, I have done this more than once where, because I got distracted while writing the tweet by looking up people to tag, that I just send out, like, the title of the stream with people tagged and then just don't link my Twitch. And only notice, like, way after stream. I'm like, well. This time at least we noticed beforehand. Can I get some claps for that one? And I also have a wonderful tagging system up and about. Clap, I know, I know. Rare time, rare time. Um, boop. It is spring break, so I slept in and went to sleep wearing a comfy outfit. That's nice! Enjoy your spring break, King. Uh, I hope everyone's been well. The weather's been quite lovely. Uh, it's been... It's big spring energy where I live, so I'm I'm excited. Always just gives a big extra boost of energy, I kind of feel. And I've been loving my little watching TV on the laptop setup. I've actually gotten through a bunch of TV that I was just like... Trying to get through. Like, you know that thing when you want to like watch a show or finish up a show? And then you just kind of like don't get around to it for like no reason. Uh, but yeah, so th I found out that having the, the little laptop where I could just put on an episode and whenever I get disrupted I could just press the spacebar and pause and like go on my phone or get a snack or anything and I don't have to like press shit. That is me with, with completely whole shows. That is so real. That is so real. I'm the same as well. Uh, but yeah, I have my little tracking app and it makes me really want to finish up shows so they are no longer in my tracking list. Because I'm always like, if it's a show I really like, I can always re-watch it and get that comfy feeling of the show. And I want to find out what happens. 
Uh, so I finished up The West Wing recently, as you guys know, and that was so nice because that is a show that I've been actively like be like having been in the progress of watching it for several years at this point because I had like a big binge where I watched like the first six and a half seasons then I sold my laptop two years ago didn't have a uh, external drive anymore or an internal drive to be and uh then now I've picked it back up and I've finally finished the last one and a half seasons of it after like not touching the show for two years. Uh, after I want to watch a show and then completely forget it exists. This is why I put everything in my tracking app because I'm the exact same. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, so having this new setup uh, like really just works for my brain and my my uh, progress because then I can like respond to messages or look up something or um, I don't know browse Twitter really quickly and I can also just watch the show better because I put put subtitles on and it's like big so um shout out for my setup uh, so that's been that's been quite lovely and so I've, I've watched the final season of AP Bio which I've been literally meaning to watch since it came out in 2021 <laughs> Only took me three years, you know, we, we, we got around to it. Uh, was it a good season? No. Was it a good show? Not really. <laughs> we better open Steam instead of Discord. Ah, that's so real. That's so real. We don't know AP Bio, it's like a comedy show about a guy who used to be on the philosophy department of Harvard. 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 There we go. Uh, but got kicked out and now has to, like, accidentally got chosen to teach biology, AP Bio, to this random class at a high school. Harvard. <laughs> Philosophy. Yeah, he's kind of a pretentious dick character. It's like that type of show where the main character is, like, an asshole and his environment is, like, trying to change him. And th honestly, the standout of that show is the children. Like, the class is so weird and wacky and silly. And... But the main character is like a pain. Oh my god, I forgot we upgraded our uh, shower last time. I completely forgot. Uh, how about we take a rain shower? I want to try the new showers out. If you don't know, um, in the recent update, uh, the upgrade functionality got introduced and it introduces a bunch of really cool upgrades you can add to your stuff, including ones that add gameplay stuff like specific showers. Shower time. True. Uh, meanwhile, Liam is, is having some some hunger issues right there. Uh, if you don't know what the current like sort of goal structure for Tiny Life is, of course we're still working on the achievement hunting uh, down here. But also we're working on uh, getting our baby room set up for when we eventually will have a child. And we made some progress. Last time we finally made our first piece of furniture specifically for the baby's room, which is a changing table. So we're going to continue working on that. As a philosophy major, I will say that about one fourth to half of philosophy majors are like that TM. Yeah, I know. I mean, I studied philosophy for two semesters in uni, and it's there's a lot of people who are either very pretentious or people who really want to seem intelligent to other people, and they really don't give a shit about philosophy. I think philosophy is super cool, but I didn't really gel with it on a university level. Uh, so yeah, but that show, it really lives off of its students, and it has like really wacky plots, and... While overall I wouldn't recommend it particularly, I think it's on Peacock now, but um, if you're looking for something like kind of light and fluffy in terms of TV experiences, it's a fine show and it has some genuinely wild episodes where you're just like, what? In the final season, this is not a spoiler, Like this is not a heavy... Like, this is one of those kind of sitcom type shows where the circumstances of the, the main characters don't really change too much. Like, people go in and out of relationships sometimes and stuff like that, but overall it's very much a scenario of the, the week kind of show. Uh, I'll have him watch some TV afterwards. Uh, what do you want to do? How about use the toilet? Uh, have some food as well, and then maybe do some exercise. Just chillin'. At 11.30 in the evening. As uh, so in the final season, there's two episodes which I think are just like... 
the holy shit. Uh, it does have some queer representation, which is nice. And it has a really funny episode in the final season about uh, one of the, like, employees of the school, who is the uh, secretary figure, who is a lesbian. And it's literally an episode about, like, making, like, a joke out of how fast she gets into and out of relationships. And it's about her like, and all of the other teachers going to a, uh, a restaurant. She flirts with the, <laughs> she flirts with the waitress, gets engaged, and breaks up in the span of that one dinner. And I'm like, that's iconic, you know, slay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it has like stuff like that. The literal like premiere, the season premiere of season four, which I had not watched this show in quite a few years, as mentioned, like since the, like three years ago. The first episode, the entire plot is the students writing fan fiction about the faculty. Like, okay, the vibe, if I had to compare it to a show, at its best, which is rare, AP Bio is kind of like community. It's just the worst community because the characters are like, like the adult characters are really bad most of the time. Like they're really not that compelling and a lot of the plots are very cliched. But let's do some, some interactions before we have to go and my tiny is gonna miss his family again. <laughs> but it has kind of that, like, it wants to be community so bad. Uh, but yeah, so the first the first episode of the final season is just a bunch of scenarios that the students are writing about all of these faculty members, and it ranges from, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of funny, it's silly. Uh, overall, it's just, it's basically like, it doesn't have quite the level of soul and quality writing and care that a show like Community has. But yeah, so I finally finished the final season of this and I'm like, yes! Chef's Kiss, finally done. I gave this a 5 on 10, by the way, the, the, the show overall. It's like middle of the road, it's like fine. I wouldn't turn it off when it's on, but... As, like, for me to watch an entire show isn't an endorsement necessarily of me loving it. It's just me not hating it enough to have to stop, you know what I mean? I'm a completionist to a fault occasionally. Like, I will read books that I don't like just to have them finished. I don't know. I just like the satisfying feeling of finishing something. Anyone get me? Anyone get me on that? <laughs> so yeah, finally finished that show. And then I decided, okay, I should sort in my little tracking app uh, the shows that I have, like, started watching and I'm still currently, like, I'm ongoingly watching by least amount of episodes left to get that satisfying feeling of finishing something up. And the, the next show happened to be a show called There She Goes. It's a, a BBC, like, I, like, drama. It's a family drama about this mum, dad, two kids, older son, younger daughter, and the younger daughter is like the centre of the show. Uh, and she has learning disabilities. And it's about this family and their experiences with this. And the only reason I'm watching this show is because the dad is played by David Tennant. I'll be so for real. Like, it's a solid show. Like, it's interesting. It's it's grappling with a lot of interesting subjects. It's about, like, people going in, like, being unprepared. Like, alcoholism, postpartum depression well-meaning other people in the family who are like not there on the day-to-day -day, who are just trying to like you know they mean well but they're still not being very helpful with how it is to have these these two children and them be radically different from each other and all this stuff like, it's, a, it's a serious drama show there's shit going on but yeah i'm for real just watching it because david Tennant is there and i'm like i like that man very much and I feel like all of you guys can, well, not all of you, but a lot of you guys will relate to the watching something just because there's one actor you like or um, in it kind of phenomenon. And sometimes you end up with some, some really nice shows and some good enjoyment, like nice, interesting movies. Other times it's honestly kind of crap and <laughs> you would not watch it unless, it, uh, you know, that person that you like is in there. But, um, you know, this one is kind of like solid. It's a bit it's a bit hard to watch at times because there's so many scenarios that are just these people really struggling and you're just like holy shit. But it's well acted, it's well produced. 
It's like interesting cinematography, so I, I, I'm having a, a good time with it. Vibe, yeah. So I've been doing that, and then I've also been doing some reading. I was reading the uh, Serpent's Shadow, the final book of the Cain Chronicles, and I finished that one up. I have to say it wasn't my favourite. Maybe, like, I'm genuinely thinking it kind of got hurt by the fact that the previous book right beforehand I read was another book by Rick Riordan, um, The Chalice of the Gods, which is the new Percy Jackson book, which was much, much better. <laughs> and the characters overall in the Percy Jackson universe I like much more than the King Chronicle main characters. So I think it got kind of hurt by the fact that I read them right after each other. But overall, I would say... Rick Riordan is pretty good at world building and setting up like an interesting mystery. Is the final book always my favourite? Not really. Uh, like they're solid, they're good, but I, I tend to like the setup of the main adventure, of the main quest, the most. Like more than the actual solution. And in the actual Percy Jackson main series, I think the finale is pretty good. The finale in the uh, Heroes of Olympus is like, okay. That it has that issue, and the King Chronicles thought the finale, it was fine, it was it was alright, you know, why is he sad? Because he worked at a dirty object. <sighs> well, put down, oh god, clean up. What do you want? Like, what are you having issues with? Is it the sink? No. Why are you upset? What are you working on that's dirty? Genuinely, what, what are you what are you up to, mate? But I haven't cleaned everything, I guess. You know, enjoy yourself. Up. Oh. You know, I'm just gonna have him walk about. Did I have to go to work today or nah? Oh no, it's a day off. I was just like wondering, like. Oh, we pulled a muscle. Rip. Rip, I guess. Uh, what do I want him to do? Uh, how about you? Research some upgrades, and then do some, some programming after that one. And uh, you are tasked to do a new wood craft. Have I done the ornate single bed or no? No. I've done these, I've done this. Have I done the long cushion sofa? No. I'll do the long one. I really wish it wasn't like, it was more new stuff wouldn't pop up in the middle of stuff, long boy, but you know what, it's fine. This one is not going to stay in the house because it's too long. <laughs> they don't have space with the shit. Right Liam, it's your day, it's your task, shuffle. Oh, I forgot about the RGB lights, let's go. Uh, so yeah, Serpent Shadow, I like... K Chronicles as a whole. Oh my god! We got a new upgrade! Can I upgrade this? Yes! Holy shit! We can do more upgrading. Look at that. Bro's really acing that tinkering skill. Uh, but yeah, the K Chronicles overall, I think it's just that the main characters are not like my favorite. I think they're very generic main characters, uh, Sadie and Carter. So that's like the biggest issue I have with that series really. Like the world building's fine, the central questing is pretty fine, there's some interesting ideas and plot plots like followed through but overall like I gave the first two books a 4 out of 5 and the finale I got, gave 3.5. Uh, you know, Solid enough, but definitely nowhere near as good as some of the other series that Rick Riordan has done. I never know if it's Riordan or Riordan, by the way, so I'll just kind of say it intermittently differently. Are you doing fine? Yeah, not really. After this, have a nap. Slap, plus. Uh, yeah, so I did that finished uh, those two so this month I had I've read uh, the chalice of the gods and the serpent shadow and then I was like okay I should start on my uh, uh, monthly challenge books if you don't know I have two challenges I do every month 
uh, the ship. One of them is the Easy Reading Challenge from Storygraph, and the other one is the 12 Months of Romance Challenge, also on Storygraph. And uh, this month I have... We have a guest, I don't care. I have Astro Parker Doesn't Fail, which actually arrived in the mail today, so I'm hyped. And Page Boy by Elliot Page. So, I start reading Page Boy. I'm about 60, 50, 60 pages in. It's like alright, like I don't mind the writing style too much, it's like kind of flowy. It's, I mean, it's about his like life experiences and everything. I. I'm not, I obviously have like the, la I guess, the disadvantage of the fact that I think this is maybe my first memoir written by anyone who's from Canada. So I don't know any of the Canadian history or like locations that I mentioned and I'm not familiar with them through other like written works. I don't even know if I've watched anything that takes place in Canada either so that definitely is on me, that's not on the book. That's on me being kind of like, oh this is, I have like no familiarity with anything compared to let's say a book that takes place in the US or in European countries or in the UK, I'm like... And because I suppose the audience is expected to know more about Canada than I do, it isn't particularly... elaborately explained. Or anything. I'm like, alright, you know, that's... that's on me, really. And then, he did write in the disclaimer at the start of the book that it isn't a linear uh, story that he's telling, like he isn't telling his life story chronologically. But I personally find that the way he particularly is doing it right now is very hopping back and forth a lot. And I'm like, in, in a particular way that I tend to find that hop that he does less interesting than what he was already talking about. So let's say he's just talking about how it was like when uh, Juno had just come out and he was like launched into big fame and had to go to the US all the time and then suddenly we jump back to like his childhood with his mom and their rituals and I'm like okay I'm like, this is like fine this is like nice backstory but I, like, I was interested in what you were just talking about uh, but then now we've got some interesting backstory with his family and stuff like you know I've not actually followed any of Paige's life like at all I'm just aware of him like as an actor and I've enjoyed some of the stuff he's in like Umbrella Academy or Judo as mentioned but so I have like no context I have to say I believe this is one of the first times I've what like read Judo rules like like Judo is a banger of a movie I absolutely adored it when I was younger and I still think it holds up guys it holds up and um, I think Ellie Page is a cool guy so but I also have I'm not someone who tends to read a lot of celebrity memoirs really like Especially ones, like, I think the most memoirs in terms of celebrities I've read pri uh, previously were, like, YouTube-related uh, ones. Where I was a lot more familiar with the person's life story than I am with, let's say, Elliot Page's life story. So I will report. I will report continuously. So far, I do really like what he's saying about his experience as uh, a young queer person and in like a 90s early 2000s context which is just like he has some interesting phrases there was like one phrase i want to i do think i want to underline this in the book where he's talking about how he had like th those homophobic and having to alter yourself for other people like that kind of sentiment was something that was very much beaten into his bones and that he had to make an effort to get that toxic marrow out afterwards and I was like that's some good phrasing so uh again obviously it's like the start of a of a book like it's the first 50 60 pages lots can change in terms of will I get just more, more annoyed by this jumping back and forth in terms of where we're at in his life or is it I'm, I'm just gonna get used to it and be like yo this is chill Sours are self showers are self care. Showers are self care too. Aw. That's nice. I'm actually gonna have him what can we do that is a bit of skill related? Oh, charisma. How about that guys? 
How about some practicing of speech? And you continue working on your craft. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy that I now have this little like TV set up with my, my laptop. I asked for my birthday this year to get one of those laptop like bed tables, like little holders. Because of course, in the long term, having the, the your laptop on your lap or like on a blanket isn't particularly good for the laptop. So I, I asked for that as a present because, uh, you know. A lot of people really like when you have something useful to ask of them that isn't just like a little trinket, but something that you really want and, and you're like, hey, can you give me this as a gift? Uh, but yeah, so aside from watching TV and reading, uh, I actually did quite a bit of productive stuff yesterday and today. I uh, did some grocery shopping and some errand running. And also I got passport tick uh, pictures taken uh, because my IDs are running out and I need to replace them. And like, I don't know about you guys, but depending on where you live, uh, typically people's IDs here, like, you get your first adult ID at 18. As in, when you're an adult, not having a general ID. Like, I got my first national ID at 12, which is the same. What are you talking about? Uh, IDs. Like, national ID cards. I'm just, like, explaining for people who our German power system kind of works, where you get your own ID when you're 12. I got my first slash ID at 12, did not get a special new one at 18. No, I'm not saying like you get a special new one at 18, I'm saying I got the first one when I, where I was an adult, I was 18 when I got my first one. That explained it just kind of poorly. ID at about 16. Fair enough. It isn't a particular ID, it's just the ID ran out that when I was that I got when I was twelve, it ran out when I was eighteen. Is this one? Oh, this is average. Uh, I'm gonna sell this though. And which makes sense, because like when you're eighteen years old, you don't really want to be running around with a picture of you at age twelve. That's, that's it's a bit of a problem. So, but when you're younger, IDs only last five years instead of ten or eight, which they do when you're older. So. Naturally, my ID that I got when I was 18 ran out when I was 24. Well, 20. I just turned 24. Basically. So, well, like half a year ago. And I was like kind of lazy about getting it uh, renewed. And I, because I was like, oh, I still have my passport, right? Because you only need some form of valid ID for stuff. It doesn't have to be national ID. It can, it can be your passport. Uh, I'm going to have Liam take a little nap, TBH. Have a nap. So I was like, all right, I still have my, my, my passport, my international like travel ID, uh, whenever I need anything with ID. Uh, but that one's also expiring at the end of this month. So I was like, all right, time to have to do this summer dance that I haven't needed to do for a few years. And uh, so I got ID pictures taken, which is very weird because in the span of my ID when I was 18 to now, they changed the rules for passport pictures. Yeah, uh, because it's, it's very different in, depending where you live. But here now, you have to... It's like it's biometric pictures, right? Where you have to look straight on. But now you're not allowed to smile anymore. And you have to take off your glasses. Which means... Which I don't get. Okay, hear me out. I really... Like, the not smiling. Okay, whatever. Like, I don't really care that much. But taking off your glasses when you have prescription glasses makes no sense. I look entirely different without my glasses. So do I! And it, like, if you have prescription glasses, you're not gonna be running around without your glasses too much. Unless you're someone who wears contacts. But you know what I mean? Like, on average, you will be walking around with your glasses at least some of the time when they're prescription. So how are you more easily identifiable without your glasses in your passport? Or ID, I'm like, bro. Am I all right? Is the, okay, the leg's chilling. He's missing family, all right. Need to spend some time with family, I guess. Over here. So I, I had the pictures taken. It was a little bit of a pain. But you know, it is what it is. And then I was like, alright, I'll go to the... To the... Like, citizen's office building to get my IDs revised. And that also changed in the last five years. 
Where it used to just be you go in and you just ask for like your ID to be renewed and then you draw a little number, sit down in the waiting room and then you're just gonna eventually have your turn. But they now introduced a system where you have to do an online appointment before you can actually know. And I did that and the next free slot for me to redo both my IDs or like renew them is at the end of the month. It's on the 22nd. So I basically went like all the way to town for like no reason, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't know, I've always had another point, so ever since it's also not Wednesday. Yeah, no, because like where I live, in all of the like buildings, it's always just kind of been like walk in and chill, but nope. As I am, gonna have to go back, but at least I have the pictures now, so advantages. And also I got some uh, like a little like pre-packaged kit to plant mint because me and my family have been really enjoying mints for for teas and like drinks and all of that and i was like hi this shop has like all of the so food uh this shop has all of the gardening related items on sale so how about we do some mint in our garden so that's a quest that we are fulfilling and I'm, I'm quite excited. So I did all of that. It was a big back and forth. It's also strikes, uh, which didn't affect me because I was just taking buses. There was train strikes, which, uh, you know, it's, I, it's a bit, again, more power to strikes, but it's gotten to the point where it's just like spontaneous strikes that can happen. Like, oh, like two days from now is a random strike. I'm like, okay, this could have been like more pre-planned. So people have more time to, you know, make accommodations. But whatever, it's fine. You get a strike, you get a strike. Yeah, for real though. And I, I get it, again, stuff is difficult, but the random strike thing is to pressure the government to pay more attention because public people can't accommodate for it anymore. It's a good strategy to be H. Yeah, I get it. It's just, it's a bit difficult. Like my, my family sometimes, when well, they have to just go there somewhere, then they're gonna be, taking three hours to get home instead of one night. If you know at least that you bring like a book or something, if you really have to go somewhere and it's just gonna take longer, but... <sighs> I do hope that's like the government is gonna listen, because it's been basically more strikes than not for the past like three months. And hopefully this is gonna help get it resolved first, yeah hopefully. You have some waffles and then... You, I'm gonna have you solve this puzzle. Do we have reasoning edition or no? Am I stupid? No, I think we should be chill. I'm gonna have him do that and then we're gonna have him do some more programming. Ooh, research design patterns. Ooh. And then also some more practice of speech. Because look, he's so close to level 10 of Charisma, which is quite nice. Alright. Liam, it's your time, lad. We've done these, we've done these. I've done the fancy traditional dining chair, I think I have. Yep, I have. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, the ornate single bed. That's so expensive, but it's fine. On eight. You're expensive. I mean, I better be. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, ah, this design bed should be... Nice greens. Now, if it's nice, we'll keep it for when the kid's older. Alright, enjoy your puzzle in the evening. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of the, the Friday. And then I'm very excited. I got, uh, I ordered a new um, diamond painting to do. Because when I was at Elle's house, I kind of got into diamond painting and I tried out some beginner, like, accessible ones that are just to see if I like it. And I ended up enjoying it quite a lot. It's literally like paint by numbers, except you could kind of do it a bit more on the side because you're not working with paints. 
so I'm super hyped about it. And I've been I've been working up to get myself a like nicer, higher quality kit. So I did get that. It's very cute. We could maybe do a stream with it, Shatters. Like I have no idea if that will work because obviously the gems are shiny. Oh my god, he can finally make the crib! Let's go! Can we get some claps? He can make the baby crib now. We're getting closer to actually having the baby. I'm excited because I've not experienced baby gameplay at all in Tiny Life, so... Also, by the way, if you don't know, there's a, uh, an upcoming uh, exciting update. There's some cool stuff coming to the game very soon. A little birdie told me, so... Keep an eye on the, on the Tiny Life social media. And I'm, I'm always hyped whenever there's something new coming. Have him do a massage shower and then slep. Slep time. You doing alright, mate? This puzzle's really taking you a long time. It's feeling creative though, because he crafted something awesome. Nice. Oh, he's finally got it. There you go. Enjoy yourself, mate. After that, I'll do that. And I'll do just a regular shower for you. Do have any upgrades for the shower anymore? Ooh, we have one more. I'll, I'll research some upgrades. Let's go, mate. Alright, enough programming. I'll have you do some more talking, and then the final bit will have to be to talk to someone in person. Uh... Oh yeah, super excited. I will check if it, like, from a camera perspective is possible to do a diamond painting stream, because I kind of like that idea. Oh, we need to pay our bills, shit. Christ sakes. I have no idea, because I don't know how those particular diamond, like, gems, if, how reflective they are. So I'll test it out. If it's possible, we might do, like, a chill Sunday stream uh, where I can show you guys how diamond painting looks and works the puzzle master well on all right enough talking the final bit will have to be with with actual people but i'm so hyped he's getting so close to mastering a few more skills get some water use the bathroom one more water my water counter. We had three now. Ah yes, it hearts the flavor of an empty water glass. <laughs> I'll have him slep. Slep time. It's Liam chillin'. Yeah, right. Liam, wake up. Continue doing that, then use the bathroom, then sleep. I think this is a better system. Uh, another thing that I'm super hyped for, I kind of had this random urge to go to the cinema. Uh, last time I went, I, I always go less to the cinema than I want to, because I really quite like the experience. I think it's a nice outing, especially if you go with friends or anything like that. And I always just really like it, but then I never do it as much as I want to. Oh, it's an average bed. Well, goodbye. But, uh, so yeah, I randomly just got struck by the urge, and I was like, you know what, what kind of movies are still running? And they are still running the, uh, and I'll just ask my, my friend group to check. Oh, you're, you're fully energized, nice. I'll just check in my little, like, friend, uh, group chat. Oh, I left food out. Is it still fine? Okay, it's still fine. It hearts the flavor, and put it in fridge. Upgrade already applied. Nice. Okay, um... I'll have him make some more food, though. Make a nice Greek salad. Enjoy yourself, mate. Oh my gosh! Argentum, thank you so much for the Raid King! We're playing a bit of a game called Tiny Life. That's a game near and dear to my heart. It's a life simulation uh, pixel art game. It's very cute. It's very fun. Hello. Hi, welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Uh, this is our little household. We have uh, my boy, Yellium, who's about to have to uh, head off to work. And this is my, uh, unfortunately not real life boyfriend, uh, Liam. Who we are working on having our first bebe. We're working on crafting up some furniture for him, or her, or them, for the kid. 
We don't know the kid yet. I don't know why I assume, but... Uh, yeah, this is our house, lads. Ta-da! It's uh, quite nice. We worked really hard. I saved up a long time. And, uh, you know, uh, we're getting on. We're doing well in our careers. We're both level 10 out of 10. And uh, now it's time for the Bebe questing. Everyone needs to go to work, though. Go to work! Highdale. Very brown, though. It's like a nice woodland cottage. It's quite cute, I think. And uh, we have plans to renovate. Oh. Why are we unsettled? Introverted stranger terror. So true. I'm sorry. This is my... This is uh, my... Tidy's friend from work. Why are you not at work, by the way, Dale? You work as a teacher. It's school time. Hi, Dolce. How are you, King? I just never invite them in. I just always talk with them on the porch. Which is really funny. There you go, lad. Just having a chat before work. Easy. Easy. Oh, we talk we're also talking about me uh, wanting to go to the cinema. You're awesome. Oh, thank you. I hope you're uh, having a good day. You're chilling. Alright, I have to go to work though. No more chatting. Bro's late for work. Uh, but yeah, so I was like, kind of feeling that urge to go to the cinema. I just said like a little question, like if anyone was up to anything. And, um... I want to go see the new Mean Girls movie, the musical one, because I like musicals and I watched the original Mean Girls uh, last year for the first time ever and I was kind of underwhelmed by it, sorry Mean Girls stands, but it was always hyped up to me as like a cult movie that is like, has such a big status and I found it hasn't aged super well. And I was a bit annoyed about some of the stuff in the in the movie, not to taint anyone's opinion. Uh, but I, I do obviously hope that a movie that is like 20 years after the original, and is also musical, I'm going to have a, a better time with. And I just think, right, there's certain movies that just hit the spot for watching in the, in the cinema, and it's more like fun, light entertainment kind of vibes like action or comedy movies not really like serious movies or movies that are like a thousand years old, uh, long I don't know about you guys but if it's more than like two hours it's not really a cinema movie in my opinion it's a uh, at home where you can pause to go to the bathroom movie <laughs> I don't really watch movies fair enough fair enough uh, I, I quite like a movie but there's definitely all like super serious movies and I checked out what was currently in the cinema and all the movies were either sequels to movies I hadn't seen like Dune or they looked really like serious and I, I mean I'm not opposed to a drama but this is not the movie I'm gonna go to have just eat popcorn in the cinema to but Mean Girls seems like the kind of movie so um, either like on Sunday or Monday me and a friend of mine are gonna go to the movies I think I very rarely go to the cinemas, I wasn't a fan of Dune at all. I have not watched either Dunes. I've also not read it, but I do own a copy of the first book. Uh, my dad gave it to me as a present. Uh, European movies are boring, so I don't go to the movies. Uh, fair enough. Depending on where you live, like where I live, we do have cinemas that show um, like movies in original... Uh, like original sound. So... Like, I live in Germany, but they do show English movies with English, like, text. Not text, uh, like, English synchronization. How European movies boring. The French is scary. Like, there's some good French movies. Don't knock until you try it. And there's also some good German movies, like, at least in my personal experience. And there's, I definitely just, like, there's a ton of really good British and German movies, too. Yeah. Just depends, like people have different tastes. He's upset because he made a devastating choice of work. Probably Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian TBH. Uh, I just like that nowadays, compared to when I was younger, there's more opportunities to also watch a movie in English if you want to. 
Who used to be like really watch a lot of Korean sitcoms. I've watched like none of them. I've watched a few videos about Korean TV, but not anything. If you if you have any recommendations ever about media that I might not find on my own, you can always give them. I watch streams and YouTube videos. Fair enough. Where where I live is really boring. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, whenever it's like a movie that is originally English, I tend to prefer watching it in English rather than having the German dub of it. And there's now quite a fair amount of cinemas that do uh, some screenings where it's original. Uh, either it's subtitled or it's just the original movie without it being dubbed. So I, you know, either on Sunday or Monday depending on like any strikes, which is why I was reminded of the strikes earlier. Right. If there's no strikes, I like your voice, funny man. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So I was kind of feeling like, oh, I want to I wanna watch a nice movie. And also, hyped. Here is usually never dubbed if it's not a kid's movie. Yeah, because you're Scandinavian citizens. You're just chilling. Nine seconds of total time is a really funny K-drama. Ooh. Oh my gosh, foolish fan in the house. Yo, King. Welcome in, lad. I'm not Scandinavian. Well, Scandinavian adjacent. What's the what's the name for like the area? Nordic. I'll just say Nordic, James. I feel like that's like more common. It's uh more common compared to that's so much. I'm sorry, James, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Finnish citizens. I didn't mean to insult you. Yeah, I feel like in some countries it's more common than in, than in others to show Error for East of the UK is Scandinavia, damn. Try to reason. Uh, I feel like in some countries it's more common to show English TV, like American or, or British movies, in original language with subtitles. And in other countries it's more common to have them dubbed. And Germany is famously dubbed literally everything kind of country. Like, oh my god, I cannot tell you. Like, I get it. No, no Tino shade, but I remember when I was like in school. Uh, and we did a school trip to England, right? It was a student exchange program, and we were on the bus, and we were watching movies to pass the time. And people on the bus to a school trip to England were like begging for the movies to be uh, dubbed, like the dubbed version, uh, instead of the original. <laughs> Finland is Nordic, but not Scandinavian because not on the peninsula, thank you. Okay, fair enough. So people were like begging to watch the German dub of English movies on a trip to England. So I was like, like people, like some people are very lazy when it comes to not wanting to read either subtitles or wanting it to be in the language that's easiest to them rather than the original. Uh, it's gotten better, like, okay, this is a genuine hot take, right? A lot of people complain about the impact that I only do subs. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. Missing family. I know, you're gonna go home and once you miss, you see your, your boyfriend, you're gonna be happy. Right as rain. Uh, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Now look, that's the new message chatters. I sent like a, a fossil bot message, so you guys... Whenever someone follows, you get like a cute little thank you from Fossa. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Oh my god, he's so sad. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah, I just added that yesterday. I um, My friend Toby has it in his chat and I thought it was so nice. If you do want a different, somewhere it felt normal. Yeah, it's just kind of like a nice addition. I added Cat Excite because I thought that was such a cute emote. It really conveys how hyped we are to have new people in the community. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, like I so I so get whatever preferences people have. I don't like some of the total changes that dubs do, especially with Chinese, Russia, Japanese, Korean, and African languages. That's fair enough. I think like personally for me, whenever I can watch it in original language, I will. But I unfortunately only speak two languages fluently, so. But I definitely notice in those, like as a as a German and uh, English bilingual speaker, I know like whenever there's an English movie. And then they have a scene that's supposedly set in German and it's like the most non-native accents of all time. And I'm just like, this is completely unrealistic. Like, I, I get everyone kind of has that 
experience when they have a different background or knowledge so I do prefer whenever I can to have it be the original produ uh, production uh, and I, I watch everything with subtitles when possible like just to helps can I shine African I guess it ain't a big problem for me oh, that's fair enough can Steven can you chill like why are you constantly on your phone being smelly like are you okay king this guy has some issues I'll be so real I know you're sad, but Liam isn't home from work. Steven is struggling. Yeah, this guy is always just like wistfully staring at the wall. Also fixing the upcoming update, thank you. Steven is me when I don't want to go to the shower. He's just like... Being on the phone, just like... He's the mail carrier. He just, he's just... Sometimes he just needs to take a break from life. It just has to happen occasionally. Have some food. Have them watch some TV together, do a little bit of interacting. So my tiny doesn't die from missing his family. Express fear of crowds. So true. So true. <sighs> I don't know. I I definitely know that this if your country crow crows. True. I can spell crows are also an ah moment. I mean crows are kinda cool. Very agree. Crows are kinda based. You chillin'. Crows are cool. Crows are cool. Based crows. Also pigeons are cool. I'm glad to see more people appreciating pigeons because I think they're based. And get unjustified hatred for just being silly guys. Like have you ever looked at a crow? They're kind of based. I love isometric games so much. Me too. Isometric stuff. It's so lovely, and I, I, I mean, I've, I've dabbled a bit with like pixel art, including isometric pixel art, so, you know, I know the struggles. And I've helped out with some of the stuff in this game. Do you guys know, new, new chatters, I'm actually occasionally working on this game. Can I get some hype? Slaptastic if you must. <laughs> I, I've done some consulting and stuff, so... IP, I know, I know. I've helped do some things. It's definitely not nepotism. <laughs> well, it would only be nepotism if we were related, to be fair. But I am friends with Elle. Do some things. Well, give some input. I've explained the salmon law, I think. Yeah, was it not you trying to do a salmon farm? We are not related to him. Yeah, it would be kind of weird if we were. Since we're the exact same age, <laughs> we would have to be twins. Which I don't think we look that similar, I'll be real. Our cousins are true. I wish to do the farm until 150. Slabbing is a lifestyle. Based. Started a cult. Happens. Happens to the best of us. Alright. Slabbing. Slabbing. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the whatever country, the culture about dubbing and subbing and everything has an impact on how people interact with stuff. Like obviously some people are exceptions of course, but the general trend. But I personally just love having subtitles on even for something that where I understand the language because it's just nice to have additional help trying to understand what people are saying. We're now building the Vatican based on slap. Oh, that is very fun. Yes! The baby crib! Crib. You can finally make the crib. That's a different type of cry. My dad is about to pick me up to go home. He didn't tell me when they leave home to get here, but they didn't this time, so I need to pack. Oof. Good luck with packing, King. Take care. I'll have Liam make the crib, and I'll have Yaliam do some eating and then some cooking. Oh, 
I must say, if I have a list, uh, an option to listen to Chinese media, Japanese or Korean, I will, because it's very difficult to understand emotion and urgency in Chinese because of how total it is. Don't forget to hydrate. Do not forget to hydrate, guys. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. Yeah, I don't know how it got this. Oh yeah, right, wanting to watch a movie, so. Thank you for the post to check, appreciate it. Oh yeah, clean that up. Ugly surroundings. I know, mate, I know. The struggle is real. Yeah, he should talk to Liam more, because he's so close to getting level 10 charisma. Where's Liam gone? Oh, he's up here. Ah, hi, Nab. How are you, King? Eh, this is such a silly game. It is a very silly game. Could have been better. People Pat King. Sorry to hear. Why is he so... He... What, are you... what are you doing? Why can you not... Can you not get to this? Why are you struggling so much? My good sir. And now it works. What is occurring? I just select a bunch of stuff and he couldn't get to it for some reason. Apple well. over, alright. I was like, I was d downstairs and I selected socials with Liam upstairs and he just wouldn't do it until I had him walk upstairs. Which I don't know what's that about. Okay, bad. <laughs> I'll look into it. Fair enough, mate. Game's not bad. Just sometimes things are silly. It's so close, guys. Game has gone bad. Game bad confirmed. <laughs> silly. Come on, get the charisma up, we can do it! It's so close! After that, he has to go to sleep. So close, it's so far! Alright, Liam. Eep time. Yeah, it's eep time. They're both tired as hell. They're kind of late. They have to go to work in the morning. I have a feeling like once we have the baby, probably my tiny um, is gonna quit his job and be a stay-at-home stay parent. It's like He really loves his family and they are well off financially. ASG, yeah. They're well off financially that they can afford to only have one person work. And arguably, Liam makes more bank. <laughs> Even though I have a more, um... Like, they make about the same amount of money now, but Liam just kind of has... more goat energy, and my tiny just misses his family a lot more, so, because he's family-focused. He is the bank. Yep, he is for sure the bank. Adding the water counter up. Clean that up, and then I'm gonna have him do some more. Mm. Can I invite someone? Like 5 a.m., but you know what? It's fine. It's a. Uh... Invite Winter if he's awake. Hi, Winter. Sup, bro? Are you. Ready to face the world, too exhausted to come over. Well, I tried. <laughs> what about Tom? Hi, Tom. How are you this fine morning? Watch some comedy. 
the invitation work? I have no idea. Try again. To invite Jessica. Now, Jessica will be over shortly. Let's go. Meanwhile, I just have Liam eat something. We don't have that much time. I just want to get him to level ten. Charisma, come on. You can do it. Oh, so <laughs> sorry, Jessica. You're too slow. I just want to say that we'd be lucky if we get more such creature casts for this week, at least. As in, like, it's unlikely that we'll get quests, or there will be quests. Clean that up, please. Alright, craft a bit more. Mental health, you know, dead. Oh, no worries, king, people, pat. Never feel obligated to do a bunch of stuff. by an SMP. Promise no quest for the week. Oh, fair enough. Oh, sorry Jessica, you were way too slow. And now everyone has to go to work. Soz King, poor Jessica. Girl just came over all the way and then just everyone went to work to abandon her. Soz King, it just took you two hours to arrive to the house. We'll just do some chill at SMP then. Try to reason. Right, work, speed running work. I just want to try and get that crib done today, and then I think we'll do some co uh, caravan, coffee caravan, sorry. Jesus Christ, bro messed up the game. So I do kind of want to just, I think it's better to put my energy and figure out my gender and stuff like that. Not as, of course, King, of course. Best of luck with everything. If you want anything to be different in the Twitch chat, you can always ask, of course. Alright, home from work and we're dying without entertainment. Tambo, it's okay. Alright, alright. Yeah, I've been reading about stuff in the in the Discord. Wishing you the best. You so many royalties. Yeah, they still get a ridiculously like high amount of royalties considering how long ago we wrote all of these books. You still get a solid amount of, of like, what? how much is that? It's about 640 total, like not as much from my tiny, but a lot from Liam. And we get like a nice 640 extra, which is twice our uh, daily income. That's what selling to a publisher does, yeah. So it's basically as if we lived with another two people who have our uh, daily income. So we chillin'. Liam is feeling focused from some good choices, but he's also feeling unentertained from work. The TV is truly the best invention we have in this house. Alright. Get some- oh, the food got- went off, Soz. You. Clean that up. Make yourself a nice salad. Let's have some dinner together. Some 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 friendlies. I just want to get that last bit up. I swear to God, I can do it. I can do it. All right. Ah oh, man, I'm so hyped though for when we finally have the baby, guys. I've not played at all with any of the other life stages because I've just been playing with this one family for the whole time, basically. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And as mentioned, there will be an update releasing for Tiny Life. There's some super exciting stuff in there to keep an eye out. I help with some of it again because I'm cool like that. Oh, and also, baby gameplay, very fun. I'm so hyped. And also, hype update, guys. Uh, I don't know uh, if... I did mention, I think, that I've been doing some applying for jobs and everything, and I did finally update Saturday night, or Sunday, guys, on the weekend, lads. We are, we are getting strong, strong vibes that'll be the weekend. 
<laughs> I'll have Liam do some e pink. Do some exercise. Enjoy yourself. And then I'm gonna invite someone over. I'm gonna invite Kai over. Go, oh, come on, Kai, we can do it. This time. That'd be chill. Damn long is it gonna take for Kai to arrive? At this point, I can just have him sleep a little bit. There you go. Some friendly socials. No, where's Kai? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Ugh, whatever, we'll do it tomorrow. I know it's late. I think we just live very secluded, so it takes like, oh my god, they were just there. It's fine. We'll do it tomorrow. You're there again. What do you want? I swear to god. Hi! We tried our best to get that level 10 charisma. Come on, we got it! We're so close! This guy looks terrifying, by the way. Can we just agree? Just a slice! Kai is introverted. Nope, nope, don't ask to leave. Ugh. Talk about family. Gush about partner. Relatable. <laughs> yeah. Having them chat. Liam. Go up. Finish that baby crib, please. Come on, we're so close. Literally just a slice. We just became friends with them as well, which is good because we need more good friends for our life goal. No, for, for Liam's life goal. Not for Liam's life goal, for our Yelling's life goal. <laughs> Sometimes I confuse them. They have the same haircut. Saying, ha ah, 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 ah. ha it's just a slice. So close yet so far. That okay is creative, nice. And unemployed. Relatable. Oh yeah, anyways, I was talking about my, my employment quest. <laughs> Uh, but however, I find it, uh, you know, sometimes the process is just slow and it's kind of discouraging. But um, I did get a message finally, after like two months after I applied to this one position, that they had received it and I would hear back if I got it or didn't get Oh my god, he got made a perfect quality crib. It was meant to be, guys. It was so meant to be. Guys. Perfect crib. I'm so hyped. So if I remember correctly, do I have a little gander? So the only thing I want to do is a wooden uh, toy box. The child will literally be all happy all the time from that. Yo! Because the plastic potty and the, the stove and stuff we don't need, but we just need the wooden toy box. And then we've got all the furniture in the world for the baby. So I have a feeling we might get the baby next time we play. So. Since there's only one piece of furniture left for the baby age that we really want to get. Can we get some excitement? To finally have a baby! It only took us like 30 plus hours. Come on, we can do it! 
literally about to do it. Oh, I meant to send Liam to bed. Liam, go to bed. Come on. It's like 2 a.m. and we're still enthralled in this conversation. It's literally a sliver! Come on, it's like a few interactions and then we should finally have our level 10 charisma skill. We just became good friends. We've been speedrunning this friendship in like one day. We've asked about this guy's day like 800 times. Come on! We're gonna tell another incredibly engaging story. Found out the Presbyterian. Let's go. Literal slice. Come on. I'll chat a bit more. Finally! Oh my god. Asked to leave. They just made themselves something in our kitchen. I'm so excited. Poor Yellium is just absolutely dying. And then slep, and then we will switch to coffee caravan. Oh my god, I'm so excited! We now have th four skills maxed out. Can I get some excitement for that one? That is so nice. If you don't, if you don't know why uh, we're doing this, there is a quest called, uh, like an achievement called a particular set of skills. Reach the maximum skill uh, level in every single skill for one tiny, so that's what Yellium is working on so eagerly. All right, lads. Are you ready for some coffee caravan? If you don't know, that is a simulation type uh, game where we have to run a coffee shop, a little a little caravan. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a plate up, but more chill in my opinion, and a single player game. Oop. Oop. Load. Thank you, James. Coffee time. Yeah, it looks like this. The coffee. All right. Oh, I forgot the, the keys. But, oh, there we go. I remembered the keys. Maybe a bit late. Ah! Make that first coffee. I bet you have an old timey 40s coffee grinder. We do. Sorry, la. Oh my god, the ice! I'm gonna be coffee stopping all over this bitch. Watch me. <laughs> no! I emptied the water. Alright, lad. Hello. Uh, sorry. Ah! I'm out of practice with this game. It's all about the rhythm, guys. It's all about the rhythm. Burp. Enjoy yourself, mate. And then you drop this here. This over here. This is not too particularly chill. Like, it's about finding that rhythm. It's Once you have the rhythm, it's kind of nice. Like, it is still stressful because you have to manage everything, but it's not like... I found Plate Up maybe because it's multiple people that you play with. I found that one to be really annoying. Like, not annoying, but just it depended a lot on the play style of whoever you're playing, if you're gelling well or not. But since you're just playing by yourself here, it's I find that more accessible. This is a very cute game, though. Do -do. Enjoy your iced coffee with just ice cubes in it, which I, I think is hilarious. Ta -da. I'm being overly efficient at the moment. Ta -da. It has this like roguelike element of going down a map until here, which I wanted to like. We we briefly tested this game during a demo day but I wanted to do something else afterwards so I only did like a little bit but I kind of want to just finish this demo because I think it's a cute game. All right now we're getting that literal grind going guys. Oops. 
start is the most important thing to do. Two cans of coffee. And get this shit on the road. The music's great. I'm gonna try and get to the end of this demo, basically. People are very fast with their coffee drinking, though. Like, think about how fast they're just gulping down that coffee. Oh my god, we actually have to make another cup of coffee. We've ran out of coffee. First time I need to make a third can. But just about. Ta-da! Chillin'. I do love how I don't have eyes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the shop now. Let's see what we got. Because we could get recipes. I think we should have four large cups though. I think we should have a... Uh... Should we have espresso? Yes. I'll have an espresso. And then i add more cups. I'll re-roll the shop. Oh my god, automatic coffee grinder? Yes! Life just got based. Life just got good. Holy shit, that re-roll was the best thing I've ever done. Grind beads, put an espresso machine, take water from sink, pour into machine. Alright, fair enough, just ease. Oop, I'm gonna do all three recipes. Okay, now we need to do some... So this thing we don't need anymore. Goodbye. So now we have an automatic coffee grinder, which is quite lovely. City. Get this trash can away. Boop. I will do... Hmm, this van is quite small. Oh my god, we need more cups. I'll just have some cups now, upstairs. Outstairs. Downstairs. Boop. I'll do this. Hmm. I think I'll put this here. And then do this. Yes. Alright, let's see if this works. Water, coffee. Grind that sap. Oh my god. We're so behind. It's so Jova. I thought the automatic grinder would make it easy. We also only have one bloody table. Kind of orcs. Oh my god, I accidentally put the grinded ones on the different thing. Ah! This is stressing me out. This placement is not ideal. Enjoy. Oh my god, enjoy. I was paying for it, but you have an expensive machine. Cute. Yeah, this may be a mistake. Because this van is, is quite small. Alright, lad. Sauce, I do have an espresso ready. Enjoy. Let's 
water and Oh my god, this night game seems to be cute though. It is very cute, yes. It is getting stressful though with three different recipes and only one table. Alright. Oh my god, we have like nothing. I need to put this down here again. Oh my god, I'm stressed out! I, I got- I got over my head. Yeah. No! I felt like so close to the finish line because I got over ego with the- Ah, oh, now we're all the way at the start. Because I wanted to get to this thing at the end. Dream day. Ah! I don't really have the interest to do this all over again. We got to the end as in I failed. <sighs> I still think this is a good game. I'm just not gonna like play it all over and over again. But it's very cute. If you like play top and similar games, I think you'd like this. All right, lads. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Cause if there's not gonna be quests today for NSMP, maybe we don't do NSMP. Because I'm, I'm like, hmm, do I want to start a new Minecraft project? I'm kind of feeling like maybe we do a bit more indie gaming. Hmm. What do you think? Maybe I do, like, call it early. I mean, we've only had, like, an hour 20, so that's a bit short. Indie gaming would be nice, but indie game, though. I don't know yet, because I've done all this prep work for, um, for my Notion stuff, where I now have very good overview of all of the different games I have and stuff that we've got going on. Uh, what do we think? I'll count this is done. Hmm. Hmm. Chat. Hmm. Any suggestions, lads? Thank you. If it could be something that we've already played, it could be something new. Because I'm trying to think. Could do like one of the like really short games I own. I feel like we should do that. I I, I have an idea. Okay, I found I've decided on a game. We're gonna play a game called Robin. Which I own already. And I know it's a short game. It's like a 20 minute game, which I, is perfect for us. Uh, I have no idea if this will have its own soundtrack. So if you don't know the game Robin, it is a... I think it's free on Steam. It is free on Steam. It is a short slice of life game that was made to give some visibility to an invisible illness, chronic fatigue syndrome. And I've had this for a while on my radar. Uh, I don't really have like a lot of... Like these shorter games, I tend to just kind of like occasionally be in the mood. And the art stuff for this is so cute, I was like, oh my god. And I, I think the message is very important. I'm intrigued. Hello, pup. Oh, I'll change the title too. Just to reflect. Oop. Then I'll, I'll get rid of the tags. Don't belong here. Boop. There we go. Movie boys over. Can you see? Yes, you can. About on oh, the spoon theory. If you have any related health concerns, please see a doctor. Okay. Ooh. I love this kind of stuff. Just like little sound design. All right. Uh, so all your blood tests have come back. You really couldn't find anything. But why do I feel so tired all the time? At least we have eliminated what it could be. I suppose. 
approach the fella. Maybe it's all in my head. Or maybe I'm just lazy. Uh, feeling defeated, Robin decides to spend the long weekend at home in order to recover some energy. This is her weekend. Yep, it's gonna make me cry, what the fuck. I'm sorry! Like, look at this though. Look, it's a little isometric game. Uh, pick up clothes, water plants. Browse the internet, do some work. Feed Robin the bird, take a shower. Make something to eat. Read a book, too early to sleep. What are we feeling like we should do, guys? This is such a cute little apartment, though. Look at the plants! Got to see if I can have you in that corner. This, like, quit to main menu, you know. What are we feeling like? Oh, we could also wash the dishes. Feed bird, alright. Feeding the bird. Oh, we just own a robin. That's crazy. And our name is also Robin. I think we should have a shower. I'm busy. <laughs> Pick up some clothes. And then make something to eat. Oh, our energy levels are very much going down. That, like, meatballs? I'm too tired for that. Too tired for that. Go to bed. Seems about right. You look... Uh, you looked over at your unwatered plants. You shouldn't forget to tend them this weekend. The foul smell of unwashed dishes kept you awake. You'll have to do them soon. You sighed. It's been a while since you did some fun navigating on social media. Glance upon your backlog of books. Someday you get around to reading them. You felt very guilty. You didn't do any work on your novel. You woke up feeling even more exhausted than usual. Oof. Go we're doing the dishes, I think, in the morning. Oh, Jay is calling. Who's Jay? Hey, Robin, having a nice weekend. Um, yeah, what's up? I want free tickets to the movies! I see this is a buddy. Want to come? Sounds pretty tiring, but I miss Jay. Let's go. Of course, been wanting to hang out. Awesome, meet you at the usual spot. Yup, see you soon. See you! I mean, going out with decisions, decisions. You made a difficult choice during the weekend. I love the art style, it's very cute. Have a little movie night. Yeah, but that tide is out like crazy. Okay, we could di wash the dishes still today. But I don't think we have energy to do anything else today. <laughs> Go to bed. Your stomach grumbling kept you awake. Oh, we didn't eat. Oh. Although exhausted, you had to make a sandwich in the night. You look... Oh, man, you unwanted plants. You shouldn't forget them. Tend to them this weekend. Robin chirps and disdain at you. You didn't tend to her. She sounds upset. No! You sighed. It's been a while since you had some fun navigating with social media. You feel filthy. You are too tired to shower. It feels gross. It was a tiring day still. Oof. Alright, how about we feed the bird? And then we... we f I'm busy. Okay, but we're still busy feeding the bird. Uh, what are the plants? We haven't done it in like three days. Alright, and about a shower. Can we eat still? This is so depressing, I hate it, but I love the representation of the art style and the storytelling. Yeah, this is like... Yeah, this is... This is quite a lot. But I do like that they're presenting the spoons theory. I think it's wild that a lot, like, people don't understand it still like the concept of people not having enough energy to do all the stuff like it just kind of seems very obvious to me but it sucks because a lot of people are not being met with compassion when they're struggling uh stomach rubbing kept you awake you make made a sandwich of the night 
didn't have fun on uh, social media, dirty clothes are piling up, good thing no one's visiting. That's upon your backlog of books, and they get around to reading, then we feel very guilty you didn't do any work on your novel. And just like that, the weekend's over. Robin had a ton of fun this weekend, but ignored her responsibilities. The week ahead is going to be harder because of it. Hopefully she can manage. Oof. I want to try again. Alright, this is us going to the doctor, not knowing what's up. Gotta see what happens if we don't go out to the movies. This is like this is a free game chat. Uh, James, do you have the link? Or otherwise, I can put the link down. This is a really beautiful game. It is free if you want to play it yourself. Check it out. Go to the plants. Browse the internet. Eat the bird. Make something to eat. Try to do a shot of any energy left. Nope. Bedtime. The foul spell of unwashed dishes. You feel filthy, didn't shower, dirty clothes are piling up, back with the books, didn't work with the novel, felt tired. Jay is calling. This time we're gonna say no. I'm sorry, I just can't today. Oh, that's okay. You must be busy. Yeah, sorry, Jay. Okay, talk to you later. Oh, felt bad. Do some work. Go water the plants. Feed the bird. Feed the bird costs so much energy. Oh my god. And take a shower. Energy left, nope. Sleeping time. Didn't eat. Didn't have fun on social media. Don't think I'm pulling up. Be glad to put your backlog of books. It was a tiring day still. Read a bit. We need to do the clothes, but I'll, I'll feed the bird first. Yes, we took care of our precious friend every day. Let's go. Pick up the clothes. We don't have enough energy for anything else. Oof. After a whole week of being responsible, Robert didn't have much fun. She's prepared for the coming week of work, but unsure if she'll be able to get out of bed tomorrow. Oof. Oof. That's rough. That's rough, lads. I still have two achievements to get. I want to kind of look. Spent all weekend on social media as well, and you led a weekend with both work and fun. Oh my god, that one's going to be difficult. I kind of want to try again. We gotta do a run where we just do social media all the time and nothing else. Oh, that feels bad though. Is it just just doing? Wait, what is the achievement called? Spend all weekend in social media. Alright, so I'm gonna assume all of the actions have to be social media. Oh, every day has to be, okay. Every day we have to do the social media. 
Uh, this, this. Do some reading. I'm gonna try to do both at the same time, where I do equal amounts of each task each day. Challenging though. Go bed. How do we do social media each day? Oof. Jay is calling. Nope. Wash the dishes. A bit buggy. Occasionally with the dishwashing not like be working. Kinda awkward. Did it like without us doing it and now I clicked on it and I just broke the game really quickly. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I want to try again though, because that was an accidental soft lock. It's a weekend. Make eat. We make eat. We make food. I do wish there was like a little character here that would make it easier to see what's currently being done. Productive, unproductive, productive. Read a book. We'll slap. Big oof. Jay will do. Jay's calling, alright. I don't care. Goodbye, Jay. Do a shower. Eat the bird. Does the internet. And do the work. Slap. Alright, pick up the clothes. Oh my god, that took so much energy, holy shit. Browse the internet. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! And then... We'll do collards. Slap. Like that, the weekend's over. The whole week I've been responsible, Robin didn't have uh, much fun. She's prepared with the coming week of work, but unsure if she'll be able to get a good bed tomorrow. It's like the fun final ending, but I. I will not try for that one. This was very good. I, I'd give this a 4.5. I like the message. The answer's cute. The music's good. I just wish like it was more evident what the character's currently doing because it's just moving the environment but there isn't a character there. And also the weird soft locking with the dishes sucked because I had to like restart the game. But it is a free game on, on Steam if you want to check it out yourself. I thought this was like it has a very very important good message. It seems like a passion project, so do check it out, lads. Uh, I do think we'll keep it as a shorter stream today, sorry. But we've got some really cool stuff upcoming uh, still this week, but also next week. Uh, on Sunday, we're finally doing dating game stream number one, where we've got some fun lined up. I hope you're there, and um, I'm very, very excited. It's going to be the start 
of a little mini series where we're going to be playing all of the dating games I've been saving up for uh, like the last probably like six months plus. Um, and next week we also got some cool stuff upcoming. So I'm not going to spoil too much, but we're going to continue some series. There's going to be demo day on Wednesdays. And uh, we might be doing some new stuff. You never know. But yeah, I hope to see you on, uh, on Sunday, uh, 6 p.m. GMT for the dating game stream. Uh, I've had a lot of fun planning it and I also had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much. Sorry we didn't play uh, NSMP, but since we don't have quests to do, I was kind of like not really feeling up to starting any big building projects or anything adventurous today. Kind of feeling a bit EP. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll do some NSMPing in next week where we have a bit more energy. Uh, I will send you to... Uh, who? Where do I want to send you, boys? Let me have a little gander. Who's doing anything fun? I will. I think I will send you to Yaki uh, since uh, he's been raiding us a few times recently, and he's uh, currently playing Star Wars: The Dark Forces. So join it over there. We're just returning the favor since I'm ending earlier than he is today. Uh, join it over there. Have some fun, and I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye.